Hi everybody, I'm Mark and I've been asked to do this week's lockdown diary. I'm coming to you from our garage which is surprisingly empty um, but we were about to embark on a house development project so um, it was cleared out ready for that but that's been delayed but it's a good place for me to get some peace and quiet to be able to talk to you uninterrupted hopefully. Um, lockdown's been strange but fine for us. I live with my wife and three kids who are four, seven and eight and my wife's work's been strange because she works for the NHS um, but as we were able to announce this week she's pregnant so um, which is amazing news um, but work's been strange for her because she's not been able to have that patient contact she would normally have at the hospital. Um, we've been doing the whole home learning thing I know the last two weeks Gemma and Ian have both talked about that so I, I know you'll have heard a lot about that already but that's had ups and downs it's been it's been tricky I've had good days bad days um, and I should be well prepared for that as a, I'm a deputy head teacher of a primary school I should be well equipped but it's, it's still been difficult so I, I'm really alongside those people trying to manage that at the moment um, but I'm also trying to work I'm working from home in my, in my role as deputy head but also a, a class teacher um, so providing work for my class and, and contacting them by phone that sort of thing um, plus other work the school have given me and so I'm really trying to juggle those roles in, in our lockdown situation and that's been really difficult. I think we had a couple of weeks before the Easter break and then we had the Easter break and, and that was fine. But since coming back it's been particularly hard. And if I can be honest with you, I've, I've struggled this week in terms of feeling I'm doing either role well at all. I feel with my work role I'm, I've not been able to do as much as I normally would. Although I'm working from home and, and working hard, it's been difficult whilst trying to do the home learning and with the home learning, I want to do my best job with that. I want to make sure my kids don't miss out, but I've got this tension between that and work, which I've been trying to balance. And I've, there's been moments this week I found that really difficult, if I can be honest. And I'm, I'm sure there's others of you getting used to working from home in a unique situation and, and have found that difficult too, I hope. Um, but one thing I've realized this week is actually something that was unhelpful for me was social media. I've probably been on a lot more than I normally would be. I use Twitter a lot for work and seeing what other schools are doing in this situation, for home learning, for videos, for whole school things that they can send out to kind of boost the morale of, of the school community. And I've felt that maybe I could have done more or I could have done something different to, to help my class and the families in our school out. I look on, on Facebook and I see all the wonderful home learning happening around the country and my friends' homes and, and at the school that my, my children go to. And I think, well, maybe we're not doing enough. Maybe we should be doing more. And I, I just felt quite down about that this week. And actually, I needed to be reassured. And um, I remember a message from a while ago in church. Theodore Roosevelt was quoted as saying, comparison is the thief of joy. And, and, and that really hit me thinking about that message that we'd heard in church a few months ago now and also in Galatians 6 verses 4 to 5 it says don't compare yourself with others each of you must take responsibility for doing the creative best you can with your own life and that's in the message so it says yes try your best do what you can but don't compare yourself to others because we've all got unique things about us we've all got things that we're doing well at we just have to remember that and look for that and I just want to encourage you not to look around you and compare yourself to others. I'd say I'm quite level-headed and yet I've still found that a real challenge this week because of social media and the highlights reel that it is of everybody's lives. But I just want you to, to know you've got this. I'm sure you're doing a great job. Look at the positive things that you're doing and be encouraged that other people will be feeling the same. But really make it intentional this week. Look for the positive things you are doing. I've looked and thought this is a great time for me and my family to spend that extra quality time together and focus on all the positive things. Don't compare yourself to others and see what you're doing well in this situation and keep it up. We've got this. It won't be forever and yeah, be encouraged.